How to sell products without a website or a sales funnel using Stripe. It's free and it's easy to use and I'm going to show you how to do it. Before we get started, I'm Caleb Becker with eCreateBiz.com. All about business and life and the tools that we need to use along the way and strategies that work. So without any further ado, let's jump onto my computer and let's see how this works. Let's get started. Okay, let's jump right here inside of Stripe. Once you've set up your account, uh, you, this is the dashboard. And inside the dashboard here, if you click on more, there's an option here called payment links. Now, it says right here, there's no code checkout pages. So what that means is they've put in a, um, on the back end, they've made this to where it's, it's user friendly all contained right here inside of Stripe. You don't need any integrations to use this feature. So let's go ahead and click on this. And there was a recently there was a payment that was a payment link that was made here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to create a new one. All right. Uh, this is products or descriptions. So you can click on this, you can say customers choose to pay. So we're going to go ahead and use product and descriptions here. And we're going to add a product. So right here is a product I've already added. This is coffee, medium roast coffee. I'm going to go ahead and add that in there. All right. I'm going to add another product. Um, let's just back out of this for a second. We'll add another product here. Here's decaf coffee. We'll add this one. Okay. You can see on the right hand side that it updates real, real time. This is what it looks like actually, um, on the browser when someone's actually looking into buying. So your products are being added right here onto the side. Okay. There's an option here. It says, let customers adjust quantity. You want to go ahead and include that. That was so that they can choose the quantity that they want. And this one here as well. Now, one thing that I have to point out is this quantity one, it's adding it to the order. So that's the downside about using this. If you try to erase that and just have it at zero, you can't do that. It tells you, you it's not possible. You have to have at least one product. So I'll show you a little workaround how to, how to get around this later. But that's one thing that I wish you could just add the coffee without actually having it add it to the order. And uh, But it doesn't do that. It actually adds it to the order as one. So we'll just, right now, we'll go with that. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add another product. We're going to use a new product. All right. So let's go ahead and add a new product. We'll just call this one. Uh, we'll call this, uh, this will be a digital product and it won't be physical. So we'll call this a guide. Um, we'll call it a coffee roasting guide. Oops. PDF. And we'll just say cool guide with instant download. All right. You could upload, a, you could upload an image here. I don't really have an image uh, right now, so I'm not going to. Uh, let's just see if I can pick anything. We'll just do that. But you get the point. If you have an image of your cool product, you add it there. That's what my image looks like. Uh, and then we can go over here and, and inside of this, we can choose any currency we want to choose. Payment links can, oh, okay. So we can choose uh, a currency, but what I previously, my uh, other products are all in Canadian funds. So I can't change it now, but if I would have started out in using US funds, then I could have had this uh, into US funds as well, but being just left on Canadian 
funds here, CAD, we will just go ahead and leave it this way. And we'll just call this a $9.97 product. Okay. Inside of here, we can also choose an option to have it as another currency. You see that? So we'll keep that at USD and we'll have it that way. This is a one-time payment. It's not reoccurring. And we'll go ahead and say add product. Boom, there it is. There is the guide. Now in this particular case, I don't want customers to adjust quantity because this is just a PDF guide. They don't need two of them, so I'll leave it as one. But these other, these are actually physical products, coffee, we'll leave them where they can adjust quantities. All right, cool, that's that. Now down here in the options, we have collect customers' addresses. If you wanna do that, and you can see over here on the right-hand side, you'll see this updating as you select along here. So we can collect addresses if we want, billing or shipping. We'll just go ahead and say we want it to have a billing address. Uh, we'll just say shipping address right here. Shipping to countries. Here you got to select which country you want to ship to. But we'll just go back to billing address because I don't want to go through that setup right now. All right, and then required customers pro provide phone number. Yeah, let's add that. And we got some of these advanced options. Oh, you can have promotion codes. You can have their tax IDs. Uh, you could save their details for future use. Let's just do that. If they come back and buy from you from time to time. And then the call to action right here is set to pay. That gives you a few options here. You don't got very many options, but that's okay. We'll leave it to pay. And there you go. That's where that's set up right now. Uh, it's also set up with Visa, MasterCard, American Express. You can use Apple Pay or Google Pay. And that is what that's looking like. And if you go over here to mobile version, this is the mobile version. You can check to see what that looks like, which is really cool. There's the details. All right. So very simple, very simple to use, very easy to use for the customer. Let's go ahead and put this back to desktop and let's create the link. All right, cool. There it is. So we're going to grab the link and we're going to test this out in a browser. So let's go open up a new browser. We will go and paste it in there. Let it load. So this is what your customer will see when they get the link that you give them. Now, if they don't want a product on here, you can just simply come over here and go to zero and confirm remove. Okay. They want the decaf coffee and they want the roasting guide and that's what they're going to be charged. Okay. And another thing, if they want to have more than one, when they have that option set up, let's just go ahead and they want six, six whole bean coffee, one pound bags. Okay. That's their price. Now they gotta just enter in their information here, credit card information, their billing address, and they can also select on this thing here where it says save information for one click checkout, which is really cool, and hit pay, and it's really simple. Like, um, this is it. You can create as many of these um, payment links as you want. I think you can have up to 20 products listed here I mean, this is this is really cool. This is like a it's like an e-commerce option inside of Stripe that you don't have to pay anything extra for. It comes with just having a Stripe account. So I think it's really cool. 
So there you go. It's as simple as that. You can set up as many links as you want. You can post them anywhere you want to post them through your social media sites, inside of your email funnels. Just simply link it from inside your emails to your product and you can start making sales that quick. So it, this was fun. I enjoyed sharing this with you. I hope you learned something today and I hope you're going to get started and using this awesome feature inside of Stripe. Okay, that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one.